Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll go over how to power on and off the DJI Air 3 and the remote controllers, whether the RC2 or RCN2. Now DJI has manufactured dozens and dozens of drones over the years. One of the things many, if not most of them have in common, is the DJI recommended power on and off sequence. This also continues with the Air 3. The power on sequence for the Air 3 is to turn on the remote controller first, followed by turning on the Air 3, and lastly, opening the DJI Fly app if using the RCN2. If you own a DJI RC2, then the steps for turning on and off the controller and the DJI Fly app are just one all-inclusive step. And now again, this is a recommended sequence. The Air 3 will turn on and fly regardless of the sequence. So to power on the RC2, press the power button once, then immediately press and hold the power button. The DJI splash screen will appear at boot up. After the RC2 turns on, you'll also get an ascending audible tone indicating the controller is powering on. After about 10 to 20 seconds, you'll be at the DJI Fly Home screen ready to connect the drone. Now we'll move on to powering on the DJI RCN2. Now, like with the RC2, press the power button once, then immediately press and hold the power button. Now, pressing the power button the first time will display the battery charge via the green LED lights. The second press and hold powers on the remote controller. Now like the RC2, after turning on the RCN2, you also get an ascending audible tone indicating the controller is powering on. Now here's something to note. Many phones, once connected to the RCN2 controller, will turn the screen on once the controller powers on. Now some Android devices go a step further, displaying a dialog box asking to launch the DJI Fly app. You can choose to launch the Fly app at this time if presented with that option. We'll now look at powering on the Air 3. Now this can't be stressed enough, but it is important to remove the gimbal cover that is on the Air 3 camera. If this step is overlooked repeatedly, the gimbal may eventually suffer from gimbal overload, failure, and subsequently break as the gimbal regularly performs a self-test. Now press the power button once, which is towards the rear of the Air 3. Similar to the two remote controller versions, the LEDs on the Air 3 will light up, letting you know how much battery power there is. Immediately press and hold the power button. The motors will adjust slightly, followed by an auditory tone, after which the gimbal will self-test. Now, start up the DJI Fly app if you're using an RCN2 and the DJI Fly app did not self-start when the controller powered on, as mentioned earlier. Turning off the Air 3, and this is for the Air 3 and the RCs. Now, like with the power on sequence, DJI also has a recommended order for shutting off the Air 3 and remote controllers. This sequence is to first turn off the Air 3, followed by turning off either the RCN2 or DJI RC2 controller, and if using the RCN2, shutting down the DJI Fly app. To turn off the Air 3, Press the power button once, and then immediately press and hold the power button. The Air 3 LED indicator lights will count down, flash, and then shut off. The LED lights on the arms and legs will also shut off. To turn off the RC2, press the power button once, then immediately press and hold the power button. Now like with the RCN2, you'll hear a descending audible tone indicating the RC2 is powering off. The DJI Fly app will likewise shut down at this time. And to turn off the RCN2, press the power button once, then immediately press and hold the power button. You'll hear a descending audible tone indicating the RC is powering off. And after the RCN2 is powered off, exit the DJI Fly app. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.